So this is this, this slow, very, very, very slow start. But then, all of a sudden, the turbo kicks in, and then it's not a slow start anymore. All right, and wait for it. Wait for it, and there is the turbo kicking in. <laughs> so today we're going to be transforming this old hunk of junk into a proper racing monster. And regardless of our previous performance, I still think that we're going to be doing okay. Let's just forget what we did last episode, okay? So as always, first thing we're going to do is just scrap the old engine because we don't need that. And we're going to go engine shopping once again. Now, last time we bought a pre-built engine, but I think this time we're going to just try to build our own. Now, I'm a bit unsure which engine we should go for here so i'm just gonna browse through them we got a 2jc here that we could potentially go for but we most of importantly just want to check if we can get any sort of turbo action going on here so i see some turbos in here which is good that has me convinced let's start shopping and all we gotta do is just put together our new engine here so that's the fuel rail we can't install that just yet the gearbox we're just gonna get rid of this one again because we didn't need that either anyway we got a flywheel a clutch and here's the turbo the drag transmission a whole bunch of pipes that i don't really know where to put so i'm just gonna click a bunch of times and all of a sudden our car just got replaced and put down here so i can already tell that the engine here is a perfect fit for the new car as you can see this thing well sits in there like a charm perfect and then there are more parts for detailing than i think will ever be necessary for the performance of our car but we're just gonna install them regardless so we got the engine in here now as always let's just go and see what this thing can do so straight off the bat 747 horsepower i guess that is just about enough for us we can however make it just a bit better so if we squeeze some extra bars into the turbo we make it to 750 and by adjusting the intake and exhaust to camshaft a little bit then we can squeeze this thing to 759 now 759 is all fine except for the fact that we're now stuck in the ground again so in order to really run this thing we just have to find ourselves some, some better wheels for this thing because i'm sure that we're going to be needing as much grip as humanly possible in the front we're going to be installing two 18 inch which looks to be just fine and then at the back he's telling me that these fit or well, they don't Now these, however, do fit. And there we are. I feel like I come prepared for the challenge this time, which is a very good thing considering the... Oh, it's a horrible performance we had last time. Now, since we have money to spare, I think we're just going to go replace the springs here to get some that are a little bit more drag-like so the wheels are not slowly but surely going to be ripping out the butthole of whoever is going to be sitting at the back of this car. So I think it's a, it's a fair investment. Now, one of the beauties about this game is the fact that there are parts that you just cannot unmount, no matter how hard you try. And in this specific case, oh, did I just see it there for a short second? But in this specific case, it's the spring and we're not going to get that unmounted, I don't think so. So we're just going to simply have to survive with those and then pray that it's going to be good enough. Well, we only have a couple more things to do now, which is uh, we got to replace the parts that are missing. Then we can just give the rims here a little less obnoxious color. There we go, which looks so much better now and then we can go in here and find some appropriate parts to put onto the car now i'm thinking that's very appropriate and oh my god would you look at this beauty i honestly cannot wait to take this for a spin so let's just get straight on into the roads and give this a test drive and the engine is definitely sounding perfect it's so good that it makes me twitch and shake my hand and so making it out on here to the highway and seems to be doing rather well and then the turbo kicks in and well yeah so it's quick uh, let's just i don't have any brakes but let's just see if we can slow this thing down before we crash it we don't want to wreck it before we even start the race there we are and i was just for a short second here questioning why we only had one gear but then i remembered that we put a drag gearing on here so it all makes sense now the only thing i'm just wondering is if we have enough power as we s for the launch here because it seems like the launch is Let's just try that. It's a bit slow at the beginning, but then as soon as the turbo kicks in, then it seems to be all right. I feel like we could do... What are you doing? Okay. I feel like we could do good things with this, though. All right, so let's just try a standing launch here and see. Okay. 
Okay, that's not too bad. So I am mildly more confident in our new ride here compared to the one that we used the last time. Especially the engine build as well, so I don't want to drag it out any further. Let's see what I did there. It's a joke, goddammit, appreciate it. So we're gonna go back into our garage and just put this thing on hold until the night hits us and then we can go for some proper drag racing. And once I find out how I get off the highway now, I know how to get on, but I don't really know how to get off again. Oh, here's... Oh, bloody hell, we missed it. We made it back to the garage, now we just gotta get it over these edges without crashing it. Good stuff, and... There we are. So fast forwarding into nighttime and we have a race right outside our garage. How lucky can one be? We're just gonna get ourselves down to the race. I don't want to speed too much here. So we made it to the race. I am kind of happy that we don't have anyone racing for pink slips right now because I have no idea if we can win this. We'll say however that on a confidence level, I feel like this compared to last time, I have mild levels of hope now. So this is this, this slow, very, very, very slow start. But then... All of a sudden the turbo kicks in and then it's not a slow start anymore. My god, this is so fast. Don't rig it now, don't rig it now. Good. Well, I think we won. Let's just try that again, but this time if we just challenge a guy for pink slips instead. We want to make this fun. We want to make this challenging. I'm just hoping that this guy is not going to beat us. I mean, he can beat us on the first 50 meters because after that I don't feel like anyone is going to beat us. There is the turbo kicking in. <laughs> and yeah. Well, that's another race over. Like, just just check this out, okay? So we, we're, we're rushing down the street here and, and everything is fine. And you can see the car is just slowly accelerating. And then all of a sudden the turbo kicks in and we go from 150 to 250 in 2.5 seconds. What's not to love about it? And it didn't take long for us before we met the next idiot on the board who also wants to race with pink, pink slips. All right, and wait for it. Wait for it. And there is the turbo kicking in. <laughs> but I'm just going to break now so we don't have to run a very very long way to get our car afterwards now oh, please don't crash into me oh god that was very close look at the spoiler we just won that car right so i've been drag racing the most of the night and our tires is now at 14 and 15 percent durability so i'm thinking we're just gonna buy some new of those and replace them and then i'm gonna go admire our new car park it was a decent night and we won well two new cars we can sell one of them for 41,000, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And the other one we can sell for 14,000. I'm gonna sell both of them because now we got money enough to go buy the twin turbo kit. And as always, we, we cannot forget to just increase the power of our turbos here as much as possible and then just go see. Now we're pulling 398 horsepower for some reason. Now I do think why, why I do think I know why that might be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sell the entire old engine, and then there is another engine in here that is more expensive, and I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I'm gonna buy it. So we get the engine back in a running condition now. The only thing we need to do is just, uh, I mean, go win more races. So this idiot wanted to race us for eight and a half thousand dollars. Now I'm not saying that I'm gonna win this, but I think we are. At least. Okay, wait. Why is he so quick? Don't tell me he's actually gonna win this. I think he might win this. I think I... Yeah, okay. So... So this idiot wanted to raise this for eight and a half thousand dollars. Now, I'm not saying that I'm gonna win this, but... Guess I'm the idiot now. But if there's one thing I know for a fact, it is that we're not gonna end our racing career just because of that one loss. So, we're now back on the track here, and I just made some minor changes to the car here, so I'm thinking that, yo, yeah, it definitely seems quicker now. That was a decent launch. I don't think we were any faster than we were before, so I'm honestly kind of happy that it's not the guy from before that we were racing. And I'm just praying that that car up there is not going to crash into us, but it doesn't look like it. The only important thing is just that we made it below 10 seconds, but I think we're going to call it quits for now because we for once managed to make a car that just to some extent can race. We now have a bunch of money that we can further improve this car with, which I'm very happy about. And I gotta find out what the hell was onto that Pontiac, Fier Pontiac Fierro's bonnet. Because he had something under there that was better than ours. And that's not acceptable. Until next time, stay safe. Bye bye.